play a couple of rounds of Monstrum. See where that takes us. Oh yeah, this is the first time. The first time. Yeah, also... It seems like right away where they dump you out, you're kind of like under under leveled incredibly. Or maybe you're like supposed to go beat up a certain monster or something like that. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. The fucking sensitivity is insane. Holy shit. And take a minute to get it right. Get it perfect. Yeah, we got Monstrum in, in 1080p now. If you can even watch it in 1080. Yeah, it still feels like sens sensitivity is like a little fucked. Also, the other thing about streaming from this computer is there could be delay on it. Now, if you ever notice that there being a delay, let me know. As I'm actually using this PC, the feed is coming out of my Elgato card. So it's not like directly plugged into any monitors. There definitely is some delay. A little bit of delay. Yeah, this game is kind of a classic, man. Uh, we got a uh, 2080 in here. Should be good for a while. Probably not streaming for too long tonight. I'm a little tired. I do want to get in like a stream tomorrow afternoon though. Or something, maybe. Truck simulator? I like those games actually. They're, the idea is cool, I just can't get into driving around in Europe and stuff like that. I guess there is one that takes place in America though. I can't tell what the hell is in there. Maybe. Like they need to make truck simulator combined with like some mafia kind of gameplay. You know what I mean? So you have to like defend your truck from people like trying to rob you occasionally or like there's some kind of like encounter that can happen. You need to like fight off like mobsters or gangsters or something like that. That would be fucking fun. That's a good idea for a game, honestly. Just like super crime, hyper crime truck driver. Simulator. Or it could be like in the future, it could be like a cyberpunk themed game. That would work probably for it. There's all these like syndicates and stuff like that. Trying to steal like whatever you got. Submarine battery. It's a little bit of everything here. That. Uh, da, 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 da. Also been working on a bunch of new stuff for the channel, some new uh, background screens and stuff, and um, 
I'm trying to fix these alerts. There's a new alert set I'm working on. The stuff that I have right now is just kind of like a temporary holdover. I should stream that sometime. I should stream myself working in After Effects or Premiere on something. It'd be fun to sit here and bullshit. Actually, that probably wouldn't work. Because After Effects is like... <laughs> So fucking resource heavy. Oh shit. When I'm doing stuff in After Effects and I'm like in Discord talking to someone, they're like, dude, what the hell's wrong with your microphone? Because I turn into a fucking robot as soon as I start rendering shit in After Effects. I need to uh, move all my Adobe Suite stuff over to my new computer. That was part of the reason why I built it was so I could do, you know, a little bit more work too. After Effects, just fucking. As soon as I start playing around with it, it runs like such shit sometimes. Or Windows doesn't like, does not like that. Not one bit. Premiere is not as bad, but it has its moments. Yeah, we in for some Monstrum. Is this Thief Simulator game actually good, or is it a popular theme title? Yeah, that didn't seem that like it was that bad, actually. It's like mediocre. Yeah, do something with a memory for it. Treasure Hunter Simulator. Speaking of which, I got to play Pathways, too. That game looks so fun. Do you guys think that has the potential to be like a Death Road game, kind of? Also, Katana Zero is looking fucking great. I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make some really cool stuff themed for Katana Zero. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll give I'll give one to Vinny. Like a cool like BRB or something like that. Where the fuck is he? Broken. Fuck, don't look. Yeah, I kind of want to start to play for myself as well. I played a little bit of it at PAX East, but I didn't know the story was going to be like that. Is he gone? Or do you think he's standing out there? need a pump. Jeff, I have a secret to tell you. I've been the big red monster for Monstrum this whole time. You son of a bitch. At first I thought you were going to say you're Clifford the big red dog. I was like, how the fuck did you learn how to type? Of course the pump isn't out here. It's just a submarine headlight. Fucking course.
Is Gungeon similar to Nuclear Throne? Eh, a little tiny bit. Eh, a little bit. I do like Gungeon a lot. Pathway is more serious death road. Hmm. Can you customize characters in Pathway? Where this guy is like everywhere tonight. Yeah, no stream sniping. Oh, really? No customizable characters? That's a fucking bummer. It gave me some Death Road vibes, though, just in, like, the, uh... Obviously not the gameplay, exactly, because it's... More, like, tactical, but... Like, the decision-making with the party, stuff like that. Damn. But yeah, now I gotta grab Katana Zero, too. I'm glad these games, these, like... Indie games are like 20 bucks, usually brand new. Probably get just as much time out of something like that as they would out of like a $60 game, really, to be honest, sometimes. Yeah, I take the rough around the edges stuff with a grain of salt because I feel like people say that about fucking everything now. Oh, oh, I already have this. God damn it. Two helicopter keys? What the fuck was on this boat? Because I, I would still even describe some of these games as rough around the edges that I enjoy like immensely, so whatever. Even Death Road has a little bit of jank. Although they've done a pretty good job with that one. They used, they used to have way more bugs and stuff. What the hell's that? Yeah, Dead Cells I haven't even touched yet. He didn't even come in, he just opened the door. Oh no. I'm moving to this bed, man. Yeah, XCOM and those games are tough. Dude, art, like, tactical strategy games are just, like, punishing sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it does click, though. That's one genre that's had a lot of amazing games come out over the past, like, five years, six years. So many good RTSs. RTSs. Or like tactical strategy games, I should say. I don't know about RTSs. That genre is doing pretty rough, actually. There's so many good strategy games, like I'll never even get to touch half of them. There's like so many like 
uh, like the tank World War II games and stuff like that. And grand strategy games. There's like so many right now. And I do like those kind of games, but those are like soul consuming. Like when you play a game like that, that's all you do for like a year. Yeah, Katana Zero. There's a couple samurai games right now, though, to be fair. Samurai Ninja Gaiden kind of games. Is uh the messenger is getting some DLC soon too, isn't it? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh shit! No! You fucker. Got me. He got me. I'd also like to try out that new Warhammer DLC soon too. The Prophet and the what the fuck is it called that just came out? The Warhammer Fantasy. Shite. I love those games. If I wasn't so tired tonight, I would have been streaming that. Or I would have passed the fuck out, probably. I was playing it. Skaven has nukes now? What the fuck? What do you mean? On the, like, world map or, like, in battle? What the fuck? On the, on the map? Or on the battle map? I'll have to check that out. I have not played Skaven very often in, uh, like, the World Domination. Mostly because it seemed like they didn't have an actual, like, empire structure. Like, I love conquering everything in Total War. Oh. Like, I keep playing Empire every time I play Total War, but it's so fun. I love where they're positioned on the map, too. I could get into playing Bretonia, too, maybe. Lizard men are hella fun, too, but they're, like, cut off from everything. Not as fun taking over the world. It doesn't make sense. Canonically. Dude, I love the Empire's, uh starting position and how you have to like get all the empire states to like join up confederize everyone and like the undead counts are like just like absorbing that entire part of the fucking country over there oh shit helicopter key And there's Vermintide, too. I haven't played Vermintide at all yet. <clears throat> I'd like to play that and, like, maybe have alongside uh, Total War sometime soon. I spoke about this before. That would be fun, though. Three Kingdoms? Yeah, definitely. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that because it's going to have generals and stuff now. Like, you actually control a general in army. Like, I guess, uh, I guess you could do that. In Total War Warhammer too, but like way more well, way more detailed. I can't wait. I do love Total War. Yeah, it seems like everyone has Vermin Tide. Yeah, definitely. We'll play it sometime on stream. People can hop in. People have been asking to play that for a while. And I kept holding back on playing it. Just because I was doing other stuff. With Vermintide originally, and then they came out with another one. I was like, oh, wow. I didn't even play the first one at all. It does. It looks good, though. I'm glad Warhammer games are getting a fucking fair shake now, finally. A bad run for so long. 
really bad run. Now just the 40k games need to catch up a little bit. They're like all over the fucking place. There's like 80 fucking million 40k games. And they're not, half of them are awful. <clears throat> like wasn't Dawn of War 3 supposed to be like just fucking... Just bad. I didn't hear anything about that one. I like 40k, but I'm definitely more into fantasy uh, Warhammer than 40k at the moment, at least. Just feels so much more grounded and like the lore is a lot more. Uh, I don't know. It just feels like the lens is completely different than the scope of 40k. Oh, oh God. Yeah, how come there's no scavens in 40k? And now we have the uh, what are they? The Tomb Kings and Fantasy. Those are that's like basically the fucking 40k army army in Fantasy. Oh, I love They Are Billions. That's a great game. That's probably one of the best RTS games ah! that has come out in years. I don't think I'm gonna make it. That's close. If he does that to you for too long, he stuns you and eats you. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I can't think of an RTS that does better than They Are Billions, honestly. That's come out in the past 10 years. And it's a little simple. I think that's part of the appeal. Not too fucking. There's not like 80 fucking units you have to micromanage with like abilities. But just like the. I'd like to play a campaign with They Are Billions. Yeah, I can see that. The way the story is structured in fantasy, I can see them being like. A microcosm, microcosm of uh, part of the galaxy or something like that. Yeah, Warcraft 3 Reforged is going to be hot. Honestly, Warcraft 3 Reforged and then War. Uh, Warcraft Classic coming out, that's kind of going to be tempting. Going to be tempting. Oops. Not going to do that. Where did the fucking... I that's at the bottom today. No, it's fine. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. I think we're safe. Halo Wars. Uh, 
I like Warcraft 2 a lot. I just got that off GOG. That's the classic RTS for me. That's like why I have a PC. See the texture on that thing? It looked nice. I remember it looking like that. What's up, Dick? Halo Wars wasn't too bad, just that the, you had to play it on fucking 360. It was stupid. Shit. Whoa. Or for Halo and Steam, rather. Yeah, I just remember beating it on console. I played a lot of dumb shit on console, though. Like, I remember playing Warcraft on, on console Warcraft 2 for the PlayStation. Or StarCraft 64. Come on. Or Populous on the PS1. It was rough. Lighter's still humongous. Maybe we're in an alternate dimension where I'm just a little man with, or like a normal sized man with tiny hands. Cause look at his hand compared to that thing. That's kind of small, right? We just got really little hands. Okay, 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 some tape. We just need a pump. Should check everything over here first before we roll out. Roll out. Bump, 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 bump. here. Faster! We gotta go! Oh! Bum 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 that I think zombie games are still pretty mainstreamish it depends on the kind of zombie game though if it's a shooter zombie game it feels like people just latch on to shit like that oh, I already taped that up I already have a spool in there too don't I oh no I don't like something like they are billions I feel like, yeah, doesn't get a lot of attention. But then, like, something like that new World War Z, people will go lose their shit over that. But also, that seems like it's somewhat confident. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that new uh, Walking Dead. You didn't really hear about that one too much. What a tired uh, series, though, at this point. Like, what could you release Walking Dead Love like 
Spies. Or look at like Dying Light. We're gonna get a Dying Light too. I think this year, right? That'll be pretty good, probably. Whoa! No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! I was ready to go. What a fucking asshole! Yeah, Chris Avalon is working on that, uh, what do you call it? What the hell's the name of that? What the hell is Chris Avalon working on recently? God damn it. I can't remember the name of it. But people have been talking and then like, but also the main writer. Is it Dying Light 2? It was something else. That I'm thinking of not Dying Light 2. Hold on. What the hell was it? That's right. I'm on my other computer. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's the wrong keyboard. Jesus Christ, I'm losing my shit here. Oh, the new Star Wars game. That's what it is. Chris Avalon is working on the new Star Wars game that uh, EA was talking about. Fall in Order. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Is that the name of it? Ah. Uh. Um, but the funny thing about that is the head writer, the head uh, producer, or whatever, for that new Star Wars game is the guy who wrote Mafia 3, which did awful. Wasn't that like really, really bad story wise? Wasn't that like one of the worst games in that year? So he's the head of the team of writers working on the Star Wars game. The RPG. Which is fucking ridiculous that EA hands over Anthem or makes Bioware make Anthem or whatever the fuck happened there. It's like, why did Bioware make the Star Wars game? The Star Wars RPG. Why not? Instead of respawn, which, you know, cool, respawn is definitely doing things. But an RPG? I don't know. I just don't see that. I should go down further. I just thought that was kind of funny doesn't fucking matter. They're all shadows of them for ourselves anyways, but kind of funny. Yeah, it's going to have RPG elements from the from what I'm hearing at least. It's going to play like um like an action RPG. Aha. Uh -huh. I just ran right into that shit. Yeah, like a soul's clone. Which would be 
I think if they do it right, it would be really fun. I dropped my flashlight. Yeah, I own Battlefield 2 from 20 years ago. in here. What about the uh, Star Wars RTS? Speaking of RTSs in Star Wars. Empire at War. Is that game any good? It's kind of old now. See, that's another genre that would be great for a Star Wars game, really. Or I would play it a lot of these. There's so many cool army units in that that universe. They use the AoE 2 engine, really? I, I mean, I like AoE 2, but oh my god. I thought it was more recent than that. I thought he wouldn't see me. <laughs> oh yeah, you just fucking shoved your foot in my face. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Defeat. All right. I am tired and I'm hungry. I'm going to wrap it up. I know it's been a pretty short stream, but I want to just come through and say what's up. Like I said, kind of tired. Long day. Going to get some more stuff done before I hit the hay. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll do something fun. Um, 